Liam, I don't know that we can see you. Uh, we're kind of tucked into a small room in the basement. What we're going to do right now is, one of the things that I actually had to do was on the uh, back side, so basically how this gets raised and lowered, this uh, spindle. I actually had to loosen that up last night and basically what I did was just turn the unit on and I did the home feature, the auto home feature. So going into the menu, pressing the button, going down to motion and then just pushing down and then going to auto home. Yep. So, one of the things I wanted to do was just check clearances. Obviously, we're in a basin up against a wall. So, I wanted to make sure that the bed could go as far back as it needed to without any resistance. And then, as this is traveling down, just making sure that we're not hitting any any snags when it comes to this so that it, it doesn't it doesn't go too too low or, or or excuse me, it doesn't stop. But we're going to do that. And then I've learned that there is a, uh, I'll, I'll put the name in the video, but I, I can't remember it offhand because I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm learning 30 things at once. So with bed leveling, there is a gentleman that has basically like a little bit of software that you can um, plug in to your, so you get your USB stick with the Ender 3 Pro and then with your little micro SD what you can end up doing is using his software for bed leveling. So what we got to do is basically get the little nozzle as tight as we can to where there's basically like... So we need as little... Man, that's going to be terrible. So it's basically going to be able to be moving. Uh, but we want a little bit of drag to it when it comes to using the, the, this, this paper method. So on the back side, we're gonna probably have to tear off a small piece of this. This isn't really cardstock; it's basically just like like art paper. So as you can see, there's art on it, and I think this is a Master Liam photo. So with this, we're going to be leveling the four corners, and then from there, we actually have a a 3D print. So we have the STL file uh, that we put into Kira. So we had to download Kira um, so that we have the the free slicer. And then basically just choose our file, uh, select open the project, and then we can uh, select slice and then we can start to look at the render. But Kira is going to have its own videos and, and we are not master printers. This is if you're a beginner and you're wanting to learn along with us. Uh, the next step here is basically just going into bed leveling portion. Um, so again, we're kind of in a cramped space so we can't really do too much moving of this because once we move this, we move this bed, but this magnetic piece, we kind of change the whole course of the game. Um, we do obviously need, so we're gonna have you guys back up a little bit. And so we got our, kind of like our filament section over here. And this will probably stay organized for about a week. One of the things that I did have is, this is just a digital thermometer. I couldn't really find a use for it before. Uh, I was actually using it for the Blackstone, but it works pretty well to be able to check the, the temp of the room because we don't want anything that's under 60 degrees. We're kind of right there, but when the bed heats up, we can kind of see what the what the temp is set at. One of the other things is we're going to have to figure out a means of keeping the, the filament uh, dry. So we're going to try to be saving some desiccant packs to load the filament, which I have not done. So we're going to go back in here, motion, and move. We are moving the Z. So you can only go up as far as it'll let you, and it stops at, at 250 as it goes up the Z axis. Most of these filaments will come with their own. I'm trying to also find the start, but they will come with their their own uh, reel. So that way you don't have something free floating like this. Um, having something that's on more of a perfect circle is going to be a lot better. So can you see that? Just obviously super simple there. And then once this gets back up to the top, um, we can load in the, the filament and then start working on the other processes. So again, first step is bed leveling, then getting the file uploaded, and then getting the, uh, the nozzle preheated as well as the bed preheated. 
again uh, when you start 3d printing you don't realize that you're going to learn an entire course uh, within uh, like a 24-hour period